you know, it's not hard to come to the conclusion that all of you, I'm, I'm, I don't know, DIA, I don't know, they probably didn't even have a dog in the fight and they just ended up watching the miraculous events that transpired and sat back and went, man, this guy's pretty good. But what I wanted to get at is it's undeniable how stupid these agencies are or the people that uh, decided to just use me for a political hit job and then after I ousted them instead of just saying oh look here's here's a couple of million dollars or a million dollars I mean when this all originally happened you could have shut me up for a million dollars I'd have been like thanks man I was enjoying my life on the bio thanks for using me for an illegal political hit job and thanks for the million dollars y'all carry on now <laughs> <laughs> but no, you didn't do that because you are literally that stupid. That's how, I mean, you're, you're idiots. I call y'all dumb niggers. It doesn't have anything to do with race. Y'all are racist. You uh, basically poison the black community for years, which means you hate black people, and I don't have a problem with black people. I like black people. But the reason that I call y'all dumb niggers is because you hate black people, and to call you something that you hate is worth it to me. So I just, and even, you know, people like Farrakhan can understand that. He's like, oh, he calling them dumb niggas. <laughs> this is getting pretty good. He called the whole Pentagon a bunch of dumb niggas. <laughs> and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, you know, what I'm getting at is now that you have uh, destroyed my life and, uh, didn't pay me off for a million dollars when you had the opportunity uh, before, right before you tortured me, right uh, before you decided, holy shit, we need to Hillary Clinton this dude. He just uh, figured out that we're, we're using him for an illegal political hit job. Break out the water mo uh, boarding machine and let's see if we can give him three heart attacks and a stroke like we did and hopefully that kills him and we won't have to worry about him because dead people don't talk. Yeah, before that part, you could have just gave me a million dollars and I'd have, you'd have never heard from me again. I'd be down there on the bio fishing off my dock right now. But you didn't do that. No, you tortured me for three years and you really pissed me off. And even two years ago when I started the insulation business after you had originally tortured me, uh, you could have bought me off for $2 million at that point. <laughs> And I would have probably said, okay, not much changed. I came out of it as a two millionaire. But you didn't. Proves again that you're really stupid people. And then when you figured out, when I started sending you those pinky and the brain translations, that is when somebody, no matter how stupid you are, should have went, oh, yeah, we should definitely buy this guy off. And I'm not trying to sell my soul to you. See, you came to my house, and I ended up teaching you how to use the FISA court in ways that you never even could have possibly imagined until uh, you used me for that illegal hit job. And then that was either a blood in, blood out, or I was supposed to be a patsy, I'm not sure. But if it was a blood in, blood out to take out Dan Patrick, and I ended up taking out the entire federal government, much like I have, how far are we going to go here? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I've wasted six years of my life with your illegal technology beaming signals intelligence into my mind and torturing me and destroying my fucking life. You connected me to the internet without my permission, and that took three years of torture. I suddenly had a mini-me, like I said. I mean, I know what's going on here, okay? general portray us <laughs> how far are y'all gonna go before you say hey why don't we just buy this guy off and maybe he'll leave us alone I'm at 300 million now that's what it's gonna cost you I could sue you for 10 billion easy I'm pretty sure that's in the works behind the scenes right now 
because I promised uh, a friend of mine that I would give her half the money that I win, and she's pretty savvy, and she could put all of this together in a nice little bow tie with all that evidence I gave her. She knows some really good lawyers and stuff like that. We could take this to court with all of that evidence that I have that's undeniable. Not to mention, I think the FISA court judges at this point is like, here, here you. that wasn't us, we just signed the warrant. And when they do that, now you're looking at $10 billion easy, okay? Easy. Uh, attempted murder. Yeah, yeah, I think when a government tries to murder somebody after they use them for uh, an illegal political hit job, and that was, uh, uh, you know, intentionally done. I mean, everything was intentionally. It wasn't just an accident, okay? None of this was an accident. Everything y'all did was intentional. Uh I believe you put that in front of a jury with the evidence that the FISA court's going to give me because all they did was sign the warrant and they're innocent and the agency that uh, procured that warrant from them is guilty so they can provide me the evidence that guarantees you that I get the $10 billion. But in front of a jury to sit there and tell them, yeah, the government used me for a hit job and then they tried to murder me and I survived and I'm suing them now. I think $10 billion is pretty easy right there, right? That, that's not even unprecedented. I, there was another case similar to something like that that happened, and they got like $30 billion or something. I can't remember what it was. But $10 billion in a lawsuit just like that, and the friend of mine has uh, got a whole lot of connections, and she's going to get half of that. So that's motivation there. So I've got somebody with connections that's motivated. And my FISA court indicators telling me right now that they're going to give that evidence to me so that I can bury the agency that decided to do all of that to me and then try to whack me like all of Hillary Clinton's enemies who die from mysterious causes to include heart attacks and suicide. Motivation. I got the evidence from the FISA court. I got the motivation, $5 billion going to a friend of mine that can get all of the contacts there. Uh, so really, it's just those two things there. Uh, not to mention that friend of mine's probably pretty much geared up to be the next president <laughs> on top of all of that. But those two things right there that I just mentioned <clears throat> will make the person who decided to use me for that illegal political hit job, go, you know, when he figured out what we did, we should have gave him that million dollars. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because well, you're probably going to get the death penalty by the time I get done with you. I'm out for blood at this point. This isn't just about money. Uh, I'm out for blood. Like, I want to see y'all hang, literally. I mean, illegally, you know, after you're convicted of crimes against humanity, attempted murder, and uh, an espionage in Texas for an illegal political hit job that I had nothing to do with it. I didn't give myself Dan Patrick's number. No, I want to, like all these other states that are doing right now, bring back the uh, death by firing squad so that I can personally put the bullets in your head after, either before or after I get my $10 billion. So yeah, a million dollars was pretty cheap, wasn't it? <clears throat> Man, you sure missed an opportunity there, assholes. <clears throat> There's another thing that I wanted to point out, uh, now that I've made all of you dumb niggers religious like I said I would a long time ago, and you have acquired a whole new cabinet full of strategical knowledge in 21st century warfare since you showed up here with your waterboarding technology and your freaking remote neural manipulation monitoring, all of that. <clears throat> I'm not going to get scientific on you. Uh, but I'm in a, the uh, Warpath strategical mode tonight, so I had it on my mind. You, you, the amount of strategical knowledge that you've acquired uh, since you've been here is probably worth a billion dollars by itself. The amount of exploitation that I've done while the FISA court was uh, taking uh, notes there is worth at least a billion dollars, at least. I mean... The whole freaking government's blackmailed, <laughs> you know? And I was sending it to the intel community and the FBI, so. Uh, they're in dereliction of duty. <laughs> uh, 
Not all of them. Some of them aren't. But uh, what I'm getting at is you're using technology to take people's souls is what you're doing. Your cinnamon makes my lips swell up. You're taking technology and removing their soul with technology. And that's against the rules. You can't do that. Not even in the spiritual realm uh, with Lucifer, okay? See, Lucifer has to tempt you, like I've talked about before. And if you're, uh, you know, if you succumb to his temptation, well, he got the best of you. This technology that I endured, and uh, <clears throat> by the way, uh, you're getting schooled here because uh, let's just say uh, Lucifer's in the house and always what has been. We've been playing hacky sack for a long time. Seen all of this coming, okay? Lord of Spirits. Think of it that way. You know, your spirit cooking operation you were uh, doing there is what they call it, spirit cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever spirit corp cooked the uh, Lord of Spirits before? No, you haven't. So me and uh, Lucifer, we're like this, right? See, even Lucifer knows that he has to tempt you to get your soul. Your technology is attacking people of faith who are in no way, shape, or form uh, an evil person or everybody's a sinner, but they're not a sinner. You know what I'm saying? Your technology will attack them because of their name. Oh, look, this one has the right name. Let's, let's use that one for some street theater. It removes their soul and you walk them around like a meat suit. That's against the rules. What do you think the emergency on 9-11 and all that was about? That was a phone call. Hey, uh, the Lord of Spirits, uh, check this out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm making an outbound phone call here. Uh, <clears throat> send the whole Calvary, right? And this um, masterful raping of everyone that was involved in that is the answer to that phone call. And I'm here to tell you, y'all are fucked. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. If you somehow think that you can hold me accountable for any of the crimes that I reported by sending intel to the intel community after you used illegal technology to torture me and I started sending intel to the intel community and that's when it the torture backed off a little bit because maybe somebody got in somebody else's ear and said, hey, what's going on here? I don't know what went down there. But if you somehow think that you can prosecute me for something that I sent the intel community, just remember this one thing while I'm in that courtroom, when you, if you ever prosecute me. If you're going to show a little bit in order uh, in that courtroom. If you're going to show a little bit of whatever it is that you think you have on me and you don't have a fucking thing, I can assure you of that. But if you're going to show you a little bit, I get to show it all. All of it. I'll read every email in that courtroom. I'll try to make it public like an O.J. Simpson trial. If you haven't noticed, I can pull some strings every now and then. <clears throat> yeah. If you're going to show, if you're going to prosecute a little bit of whatever you think you have on me, and obviously you think you have something, but if you're going to try to prosecute me for a little bit, you're going to have, I'm going to be able to show it all. Just remember that. A little bit, I'll show it all. I don't have anything to hide. Matter of fact, all that intel that I sent to the intel community proves that y'all are the ones that have everything to hide. <laughs> and that's why you broke out the Hillary Clinton's enemy assassinator machine that uh, resonates off your DNA somehow with some sophisticated technology and uh, just so happens that I'm Morpheus from the Matrix it's Matrix, and my DNA morphed on you that's why I'm still alive yeah. uh, complex complicated uh, alien technology that I got when they abducted me in Buck and Adeline's field 